Oh, so that's a bit depressing, really. I mean, it's, uh, we, we think we're pretty good at the space travel lark, but Interstellar <laughs> is just a totally different ball game, as the, you Americans would say. That's right, exactly. <laughs> I don't know if you say a whole different cricket game in England. I... <laughs> so, where do we want to go to? So, look, yes, there are reasonable targets. Now, everyone talks about the Alpha Centauri star system. Now, there's two good reasons. One, it's close, close on the scale of still really, really far away. And it also has Proxima Centauri, the closest star in that system. And we do know Proxima Centauri has planets around it, right, Paul? Yes. So, I mean, this system, you've got Alpha Centauri A and B, which yep. are the ones you can see. Yep. And that's uh, two uh, roughly sun-like G-type stars, if you remember the stars course, yep. orbiting about as far apart from each other as Neptune is from the sun in our own solar system, 30 astronomical units. And then way out of distance is Proxima Centauri, which is in a very... Uh, elongated orbit yep. along, so, far, so far away that if you're on a planet orbiting Proxima Alpha and Beta Centauri would be bright, but they would be just be dots, yep. distant dots. Um, now, in the exoplanet course, we've talked a lot about how you find planets about yep. these things. And Alpha and Beta Centauri, we've not been able to find planets about them. That That's doesn't right. mean they're not there. Yep. because we're actually not capable of finding right. an Earth-like planet in an Earth-like orbit around these two stars. It could exist, we just don't know. That's right. However, because Proxima Centauri is a red dwarf star, it's much smaller. That means a planet orbiting around it will have a bigger effect to pull it around more. And so indeed we have found that there are, in fact, more than one planet yep. around Proxima Centauri. And so this kind of makes it the, the ideal case. It is the closest, and there's at least planets. And in fact, we don't even in the beginning probably care about what kind of planet it is. It's just a different planet and it's close by. Again, close being very relative as we'll get through. So Alpha Centauri system, Proxima Centauri is always at the top of everyone's list. And in fact, as we'll talk about a little bit later, this is where a lot of technology is being designed to try and go to. Now we also have Barnard Star, the second closest star. Again, it's a red dwarf. Do we know any planets around Barnard Star, Paul? Uh, not that I'm aware of. Yeah, I don't think we know it of any. So it's kind of the Again, thing... Again, it doesn't mean they're not there. They're exactly. very hard to see. Now, it would be lovely if we could look out there with our telescopes and see a lovely Earth-like planet. At the moment, though, we can't generally see yep. Earth-like planets anywhere. We can sometimes tell they are there because they make the star wobble backwards and forwards or every now and then they block out the light. But we still... From that, we could work out maybe it's the right sort of distance from the sun to have liquid water. So that's what they call by potentially habitable planets. Uh, but these red dwarf stars, there's some doubt, even if there was a planet that's at the right. right distance, the trouble is these red dwarf stars were initially very much brighter than they are today, so any water could have been baked off. So while it might be a suitable temperature now, it could be like Venus, where it's lost all its water long since. Exactly. Um, However, interstellar travel is so hard, we might well have good enough telescopes to be able to tell if there's something habitable <laughs> long before we're going to send any space probes. So both of those are going to be distant. <laughs> distant, distant ideas, that's right. So if we then start talking about where are the ones that maybe could have better planets, we start getting to some of the Gliese star systems, like Gliese 581. Yes, and so these ones, um, we've discovered there are planets. Again, we don't, all we know is the mass and the that's orbit right. of the planet, maybe the exactly. size of it. Yep. We don't know what it's like on the surface. We don't really even know if it's got a surface. All we know, all we know is it, I mean, it's probably got a surface. But and th there are th things like this which have things that might be roughly Earth mass yep. and in an orbit that's roughly far enough that you might be able to get liquid water. So it could be habitable. It could also be a godforsaken wasteland. That's right. At this point, we don't know. So that's right. So, you know, when people start thinking about, hey, these systems have multiple planets or some even could be super Earths with liquid water, we don't really know that much about it other than there's kind of a rockyish body there that may not even be fully rocky. Yes. So well, far more detail about all these planets see the exoplanets course. Yep. But so there, there are at least potentially Earth-like planets out there. Uh, we don't know at this point, but they're the best choices we've got. We know there's nothing even vaguely Earth-like in our own solar system. Exactly. And so this is also why people then get excited by the TRAPPIST-1 system, which has at least have planets that have some sort of detection of water in its larger atmosphere. So there's at least some sign that there's something that resembles some sort of water family on something that may resemble some sort of Earth planet. Now, just to put this in the scale, when we were first talking about how big something far away is, we were only talking about Alpha Centauri 
system proximal storage story at 4.2, 4.3 light years away. And we might get lucky with a good planet. That might not. Most of the ones you hear about where there's good Earth like planets, we're not, not talking four light years, we're talking 40 light years. That's right. And so it's 10 times further already just and Proxima is also already pretty damn far. So you're already then starting to get into the challenges that even in the short list of good potential close candidate planets, it's really, 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 really far.